I don't know how many people told me how stupid it was to open up a shop inside the mall. It was gonna do horrible. Bro, the first day that I opened, it was a sweet, bitter moment. It was sweet because we were busy, we were packed, like we had a line all the way outside. The bitter moment was the fire marshal came in and said, hey dude, if you don't get this under control, we're gonna shut you down. On my first day, bro. So it was sweet because we were super busy, but we were overly busy that the fire marshal said, bro, it's a fire hazard. So it was just like, a lot of the people that looked at me, and my dad would tell you this too, he was one of the ones that told me that I was stupid because I should have opened a shop out in the streets and bought my own shop. But I told him, I said, dad, opening a shop inside the mall, like you don't understand the traffic that I'm gonna get, bro. And as long as I have traffic, then I can fill the chairs. And as long as they're making money, they're gonna stay. And as long as they stay, I'm making money. And the day that I opened my first shop, bro, my dad uh, was one of the first ones that came up to me, bro, and he told me, Mijo, I'm proud of you. And I'm sorry that I doubted what, what you were trying to do. So for one, don't listen to other people because your vision is your vision. Um, you know, your, what you wanna pursue is what you wanna pursue. Some people won't understand your vision until you put it out on paper, you know what I mean? Because it starts here. And I can't tell you, you know, what's here because only I know that, right? And once I create, create the reality for you, then that's when you're like, oh, okay, I can buy into that. So I think the first and foremost thing is, uh, is, is stop listening to others around you. Believe in yourself too. Have the confidence in yourself to pursue the dreams and the goals that you, you have set in mind. And if you feel like you don't have the means and the income, start thinking of ways to figure out how to put your dream onto paper. We're almost fucking there. No, we're not. We haven't even left. <laughs> They're right there. Don't tell anybody our secrets. But we're already up. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say on my camera. Wait, candy camera. Not camera and camera. I don't know. Hi, guys. How's your day going? Mine's going good. Cheers. She's looking over here like beautiful miss, and I'm looking like a no miss. I thought we were getting ready at the same time, but I guess not. Right, you see those two big <laughs> barnies? <laughs> looking like over there. I know they see us. We looking like two big barnies. Thanks, Medea. <laughs> Up. We made it to El Paso. We are now on stop P number three because they cannot contain their bladder. Miss Peabody's. And these two have just been wilding on the road. Got my boy Blindy in the building. <laughs> Pissy Sue over here. Just I had to like, I had to take a leak. Can't hold and the bladder. Tim didn't even want to fucking go up there and get us on the other side. Make us walk through the fucking rocks and shit. I'm gonna walk all that alcohol off. It's already off, babe. You're jealous. You're a hater. Now. Bonafide we're, hater. We're about to go find the hotel room. After about five piss stops, <laughs> we're gonna finally make Is that it. Is No. Indigo, and it's El Paso. It better show us something what they're working with. We yeah, don't see what his ass is talking about in the Indigo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you, oh shit, you, you pick, you name it. You tell me what, 
We got Steve and Dave, the uh, concierge. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Edward, let me go put my. I need some more shorts. <laughs> Monica. Miss Katie, the drinker. No, I'm the social media person. Oh, I'm sorry, the social media drinker. I mean, uh. <laughs> we got our own candy camera right here. Why my husband signed ass pussy on a damn contract? <laughs> we signed in our souls to this contract. Look at him. <laughs> oh hell! It was a party foul, sir. You know we don't go. Pick it up. Mm, those those are so good. Okay, get them. <laughs> I can't get the other one. Go ahead, ladies, after you. Yeah, you can. It's still good. We do not ruin anything. Ah. <gasps> I know you didn't just throw a whole yeah. beer away here. Well, I was like, why, why she look like me? Now, now, now. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get, you know, Liddy for tonight. We're gonna do a little bit of top coffee. Yeah. Gotta curl my wig. Ah. No. We're in El Paso. Currently curling our hair, trying to freshen up, you know, brush our teeth. And then. Mm hmm. You know, curl our hair and shit, you know, all that good shit. Hey, 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 hey. Dang, I should have brought the beers here. Mm -hmm. Here's my beer. Oh, I like that. This is the hotel room in El Paso. It's small, but we literally just booked it on our way over here. That's the pool. This is downtown. Can't fucking see shit, but it's down here. Beat for murder. I don't speak to the script. No, for real. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, you see? What up, what up? We don't see what this BPTX is about. <laughs> Early morning vibes out here in EP. Chilling. Rooftop at the pool. Different scenery. Got the boy Blendy in the building. In Italia or Italia? Italy. 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 <laughs> We're about to go to work. But first, we're waiting for the no, no. You know I me, mean? I'm about to just reception. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just do my thing. Observe. <laughs> Today is observation day. I just want to see how how everybody's doing as far as making money and stuff like that.
you, man. Just made it to the Silo Vista out in El Paso. We got a few shitty booties in here, so we're gonna go pick up some toilet paper. Clogging up all the toilets. Let's go here and visit the team. All the booties. <laughs> all the booties that you get. Blindy is one of our fastest cutters out in um, Odessa. He's from uh, he's from Corpus. He's joined our team about a year ago. Anyway, I brought Blindy out here. I told Blindy I want him to come in, make as much money as possible, cut as many heads as he can, distribute the quality that we used to distributing, and I want to know exactly how much money is being made in this facility. That way, I can make sure that our team is eating because. That's the most important thing for me to make sure that everybody that's on our team is eating. And we're right here as soon as you walk in. We're in the food court area. So as soon as you walk in, you start to run this right across. Hopefully we don't run into any gangster security guards like we did in Midland. And if now we know it's for personal reasons. So this used to be an old master fest location. And uh, Cito Vista gave me a call. They told me if I wanted to take over the location. I told them, yeah, you know, we threw some numbers down. We threw, you know, the, they threw the opportunity out there. And uh, we took over this facility and uh, renovated it in about 30 days. So this was a quick turnaround for us. Uh, dropped a few racks on it, uh, but it's definitely made its return already. Uh, we got all of our units filled, meaning chairs. Um, and yeah, everybody's loving it out here from what I hear. I love our team out here, I love the vibe. It's completely different than Midland Odessa, but I really love that. I'm my boy Brandy, the manager of Sofia Del Paso. So what's up, y'all? Thanks for popping in here. I know with the big dog, finally. You know, we finally made it out here. Blessing us with his presence, you know? <laughs> this is Christina, she's our receptionist. This is Katie, and this is my beautiful wife. Hi, Big T right here, one of the hitters out here. <laughs> no, it's no. Brittany right here. This boy, this boy, hey, he's one of the OG. How you doing? Open up the top with him. How you doing? What's up, bro? This is, uh, this is our little storage area. It was an office, but kind of made it into a nice This is uh, a restroom right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is where all the laundry and stuff used to have one shampoo bowl, but we were kind of like crunched on space in here. The way that Master Cuts had it laid out wasn't really our style in the way that we do things, but we kind of made it work. So that's uh, our El Paso facility. We'll keep y'all tuned in some of the stuff that we're doing throughout the day and how we're bringing customers in and how the barbers are doing throughout the day. Hey guys, we just visited our El Paso location and it's so dope. Fresh new barbers, well for me, seeing everybody. Fresh new faces, looks pretty dope, you know. I had to stop by my paleta, woman. <laughs> what's up, what's up? El Paso was good to us. El Paso was good to us. Boy, Blindy. Yes, sir. Got my, my little outfit and VIP money tonight. <laughs> you know, that's taken care of with today's pay. It's, it's a nice little day. You know, El Paso, man, it does the same thing that uh, Odessa and Midland does for us, and that's, that's produce. And that's what we wanted to do is come out here to make sure that this store was being very productive. And from what we see, man, these, these clients are coming in. They're loving it. They're loving the atmosphere. They're loving the environment. And uh, my boy Brandon has been doing his job as a manager. The boy's been holding it down. Yes, sir. You Got a successful, know. successful shop out here in El Paso. What'd you pull today, bro? Shit, like 350 half day. A little half day, 350. Chilling. You know. We're gonna go get some food now. Enjoy the rest of the Saturday we got out here with the with the owner, Mr. Tim himself. You, you know, know Glenn Paso we always Glen Paso. <laughs> And I know she made a few buckaroos, so I know she's stepping out with us, right? Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> that sounded confident. You gotta look at the camera, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> loving it, loving it, man. It's good vibes in here. Definitely loving it. My boy Chris, finally making it. 
I'm making it in. Best records in town. Already, already. Christina, you stepping out tonight or you stepping in? <laughs> and Romy Rose. Hey man. Lil baby, somebody call Lil Baby, let him know that she's looking for him. <laughs> yeah, man, it was a good, it was a successful day out here, man. We're getting ready to shut it down. Big Teasy. What it do? Tell him what's going down in EP tonight, man. Oh, you know, chopping up these heads. Come get chopped up, not slopped up. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the late night. Yeah, man. We've been having good vibes out here, man. It's been fun. We still got a lot more exploring to do out here in El Paso. But if y'all are ever in the Silo Vista Mall inside uh, El Paso, Texas, we're right in the food court area. Right below us is the gymnasium. A lot of stuff to do. We're, we're about to get ready to upgrade, get this, get this joint in a bigger facility out here uh, inside this mall. Uh, put a bar in it and you know throw all of the customer service that we can at these El Pasonians you know I'm still tripping out over here on Blindy's Mad man check out what y'all think <laughs> and they say they just can't take me serious when I got so it, it, it's, it's an icebreaker you know what I mean that boy Bucky <laughs> <laughs> Doonies I'm out here with my girls Doonies with Brit that's Marcus in the city we about to hit the Doonies right now on the shrewies? On some shrewies. <laughs> yeah. Get a little scared, you know? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, so we can go check out some sand dunes that they have out here. Have a few ice cold beers. Check it out, see, what, see what's popping tonight. We'll go check out some place called EPTX. Got a little VIP spot and stuff like that, so we're gonna see what that's about. But hey, the Productive Money Day on a Saturday, this place is a cash flowing machine. It's doing exactly what we want it to do. So I'm very excited about that. Just another day in my life, in my team's life, and we're blessed, man. We're blessed to say that we can still be out here making money after this pandemic, and we're gonna continue to grow and bust this thing wide open. So we'll holler at y'all on the next trip. That's all I want to do. How do you feel about that? <laughs> like this. <laughs> Hello, it's Wow well Wednesday with Lacey C and Katie, my co-pilot. We are doing blueprint today. This is where it, you know, this is where the money come in, you know, that makes the shit go round. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we just kind of like this, girl. What's up, YouTube? I'm just riding with my baby and a wifey and. We're trying to figure out different ways how to elevate our YouTube to that next level. And we're thinking about taking on some challenges and stuff. And uh, we got the wifey over here trying to look at some challenges. I found something. I think this is pretty dope. And I told her I was going to let her pick whatever she thinks we should do. And she said she found something. Let's see. Okay, what guys, this here. barber right here, he is trying the hot chip challenge and doing a, a haircut. I think this is pretty dope. They're, I'm going to show you a little snippet. What y'all think? It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. His booty hole's gonna be burning. Pro show. <laughs> so what do you guys think? I think so we found do, a so challenge. You, so you saying we should do the haircut while eating the chip? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, he did it. Let's see. He did it. I think you guys can do it. It'll be funny as hell. Yeah, I don't know, but... Yeah. Looks like we found the uh, challenge, man. So y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. And uh, y'all follow us on our adventure next week for this hot chip set. <laughs>